What are the most abundant elements in the Earth's crust? If you've ever wondered what makes up the ground beneath your feet, you're about to uncover some fascinating facts. Let's explore the elements that form the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust is made up of a variety of elements, but some are far more common than others. The most abundant element is oxygen, which makes up about 46% of the Earth's crust. This is because oxygen is highly reactive and combines easily with other elements, forming oxides that are found in many minerals and rocks. Right behind oxygen is silicon, which accounts for approximately 28% of the Earth's crust. Silicon often links up with oxygen to form silicate minerals, which are the most common minerals on Earth. You might be familiar with one of these minerals, quartz, which is essentially silicon dioxide. Aluminum is another key player, making up around 8% of the Earth's crust. It's often found in minerals like feldspar, which is one of the most common minerals in the continental crust. Iron comes in next, comprising about 5.6% of the Earth's crust. Iron is known for its role in forming rust, which is an oxide of iron, and it's also a key component in many types of rocks and minerals. Calcium is also quite abundant, making up around 4.1% of the Earth's crust. It's often found in minerals like limestone, which is a calcium carbonate. Other significant elements include sodium, magnesium, and potassium, each making up around 2-3% to of the Earth's crust. These elements are often found in combination with other elements, forming various minerals. Titanium and hydrogen are less abundant, but still important, with titanium making up about 0.5% and hydrogen about 0.1% of the Earth's crust. These elements, especially oxygen, silicon, aluminum, and iron, account for about 88% of the mass of the Earth's crust. The remaining elements, although less abundant, still play vital roles in the formation of rocks and minerals. Understanding these elements helps us appreciate the complex composition of our planet's surface and how these elements interact to form the world around us. So next time you walk on the ground, remember the diverse array of elements that make it all possible.